What's going on, Doombots? Today we're doing the ISO review for the AIM team. Now, we're starting to get to teams that have more characters than necessary, I guess is a word. There's, you know, seven characters in the AIM team. It's kind of a mix and match. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the characters that are most likely to be seen in the AIM team. And from that point, uh, move down to more of the optional characters. Now, there's about four characters that almost every aim team has the other three characters they kind of fill in based on your investment or what situation but there is a widely accepted best use of aim team so we're gonna start from the beginning we're gonna start with scientist supreme now i have healer on scientist supreme that said i don't have it on her for any major reason sure between mad science no, uh, giving a little bit of a heal when she revives and of course through retro vaccination being a little bit of a, of a decent heal on the aim team it's pretty much everything there's no heal here it's just abilities uh there's no heal here it's just an attack she has abysmal damage abysmal damage for an 89k version of a character it doesn't get better even her health isn't great no armor her focus is really good so it's very unlikely you're gonna have too many problems with uh, focus on her but there's nothing that stands out so all of the offensive ones specifically striker and raider no right she only has one attack that does damage don't even waste your time so then we have to move to maybe the utility of skirmisher which is reasonable but probably not until skirmisher five so turn it back a little bit and eh. Even field trials, it doesn't apply anything. This will apply a stack or a vulnerable. This will apply a vulnerable or remove buffs. It's a good uh, idea to put Skirmisher on her. Like It's not bad, but it's also not great. It's okay. And then you have, uh, I guess, the possibility of Fortifier to keep her alive. That's actually also very reasonable. In theory, if she's alive long enough, she might res characters, but I don't know about your Scientist Supreme. My Scientist Supreme never learned that in school. She never learned how to res. Uh, if she does, it's right before the turn of a character who's going to AoE and kill them anyway. So for me, it hasn't been great. But Fortifier is a reasonable option. Again, it also depends on who else you're putting on the team. I think that making sure she heals, even outside of her team, gives her a little bit more value because her heal kind of sucks. Um, so I have her at healer, but again... Notice, it's only one investment. I haven't put anything into her as far as Ion, so that might change. I do think Skirmisher is a good option. I do think Fortifier could be a good option. But now we're talking about how to build up teams that don't necessarily need more than what they have. So that's Scientist Supreme. Graviton is um, Graviton's pretty pretty awesome in certain situations. So like I want to put Raider on him, right? Singularity, uh, Hits of Target... 100% chance to do additional damage per negative effect. Now, these are technically separate attacks, um, so they might trigger through raids, but it is only if they have negative effects. Now, granted, you're on the aim team. Scientist Supreme is going to use her, her big defect first, so it's going to do extra damage. It's very likely that one of them there. So Raider is a very reasonable investment in him. No problem for this attack. This attack does everything Raider wants it to do, which is hit multiple targets. Um, that's it. Hit multiple targets. So, not terrible. And then Gravity Well also attacks and then but does bonus attacks. So, it is a multiple hit. Uh, you'll see it because the damage ticks upward if you ever look. So, Raider is absolutely positively reasonable on him. No question. Uh, I haven't really found much in the version of the team that I use that takes advantage of the vulnerables in that way and that could just be how I use the team and it's not often it's just for maybe a couple of nodes in an occasional raid or you know once I use them for that gamma stuff but maybe earlier on you get a little bit more value out of raider so I do like raider I just like the flat damage increase that comes with it because he is hitting a lot of times having his damage stat higher will just make him stronger um I think Raider is the best, truly. I think damage is good on him. Um, I don't really worry about his survivability. Healer, he doesn't 
necessarily have too much of a heal from his health pool. And you can argue for Skirmisher, but his base focus is good. And you really don't necessarily need him to be removing buffs from characters. His job is kind of to be the the main damage dealer. Aim is running out of damage dealers, uh, so having someone like him be the primary damage dealer on the team is probably a really good way to build him. So you could use Skirmisher too, but Skirmisher is really good in a lot of characters. For what this team does, I don't think he's the best version of that. I, like, I really like Raider, I really like Striker. Uh, now we're going to skip a little bit, because the order is a little bit out. And we're going to go straight to aim security. Aim security is always on any version of an aim team you want to use because they do need a tank. And aim security is a really good tank, all things considered. Between immunization, healing, or throwing uh, buffs and giving everybody else some degree of control. Uh, especially, you know, when they're over 75% health, which should be often. They have a pretty decent health pool. Uh, charge capacitors, heals themselves. Uh... Gains, you know, clear speed up, slows themselves, and then uh, if ability blocked, if this character's ability blocked, they hit harder. It doesn't really happen that often. Cute little feature. So, for that, I have her as a healer, mostly because of how charge capacitor heals self and adjacent aim allies. I just want that to be enough. Aim is more of a team that you use to survive. If you ever used aim, especially for, like, Greek raids or U6, U6 say maybe you started with the aim team you'll notice that they don't really do much damage they're about survivability so in the case where you can take away or uh, a need to use some of the abilities for survivability and you can invest more in gear and, and be more aggressive with their abilities you end up with a good shot so I like healer on her I like healer on scientist supreme but again if you're using both um, or if you're using aim researcher that might be enough of a dedicated healer that you can then maybe switch her to something along the lines of, I'm just going to throw it out there, Skirmisher. Uh, at the very least, you might be able to start removing buffs with takedown. A minions are really hard to justify on certain things unless their abilities lean into them. She doesn't do damage on her own, so Striker and Raider don't really make too much of a difference. She's not doing double hits. It's not really much there. You could put Fortifier on her, in, as with all tanks, but kind of a waste. She heals herself and keeps herself up and, you know, it works a little bit with her immunization ability to make sure that she still has enough health to throw the negative effects, but eh, it's okay. Um, I like healer on her. If you're not using a healer, if you are, Skirmisher is fine. Fortifier could be fine. Again, you really just need to, to switch to a more damaged version of the team. So, I have her in healer. I think that's totally reasonable to keep the team sustained. And also allows you to a little bit more freedom with when you get to use Scientist Supreme's ultimate. Uh, now we'll go to Aim Assaulter, the fourth character that should be on most Aim teams. Because damage. And, and good damage, for lack of a better word. Juicer, on turn, fill speed bar, and adjacent aim ally. So, a lot of aim is about placement as we just saw that's a different video for a different conversation for this increasing the amount of damage getting you know tier fours and everything it's all about damage attack primary target if this character has a negative effect bonus attack the primary target so this character doesn't often have a negative effect on it if it if it does it's not placed on by like scientist supreme it's like an accident but you still want to be using this attack Pretty much all the time because it's decent damage um, and it's very unlikely they're going to have a negative effect on them uh, especially when this is on cooldown but you are going to gain speed up for four turns so you're going to go fast you're going to go often a character that's going often and going fast well now we have a justification like it, it's in the same conversation as like a multi-hit because they're attacking so often that they are fundamentally hitting multiple times just not in one turn so raider is a very reasonable investment for a character like this. Uh, if the basic had a multi-attack to it, I would say definitely. Um, I didn't really feel that. Extra damage could be relevant, but since even with tier 4s, it's only 160% of a relatively okay, but not great, like real average damage stat, I gotta say I went with Skirmisher, and I, I don't feel bad about going with Skirmisher. 
just because the ability to that every attack they take could either place a vulnerable on them or remove a buff because they're going so frequently you can truly start like ironing out buffs due to how quickly this character is going to take turns i feel like skirmisher works the best with what this character is doing because a lot of the problems with aim come between when they're hung up behind a taunt that's maybe too strong or if there's a character that has a death proof that they really need to get down at least you're taking enough turns. Like I said, Raider is fine, and obviously damage is fine. This is a damage dealing character. Shouldn't be too difficult for you uh, to figure out a way to put extra value in them. I just really like Skirmisher. A lot of people use Ultron on this team. Again, that's really hard to quantify. Like, you can't just say, like, well, I use him with Ultron, and that's the team. That's not the team. The team is aim. You just make it better by replacing a bad character with Ultron, which you can technically do with almost any team in the game. So, it's not the same, but if you are using Ultron as like a common team, then you see that Ultron's damage will be enough that all you have to worry about is survivability and control, and that's where Skirmisher really starts to shine this character. Now we have the last characters, and they are of questionable value. Um, Aim Monstrosity is character number five. Um, it's just a damage dealer. Surprisingly, has a pretty decent health pool. But since healing is not really an issue with the way the team works out, you really don't need healer. You probably also don't need fortifier on this character. They are relatively tankier. They have a pretty decent health pool. They have a pretty decent armor stack. But you need a damage dealer. If this guy's on the team, it's because you need damage. So go with damage. He's not hitting often. He's giving himself offense up. Attack cannot miss. Reasonable enough to give him something like raider but he's not very fast he's not going too frequently for him it seems to be just pure damage you know boost his damage stat make him a little bit stronger give him striker uh, an extra bonus attack especially if you use this gain offense up after the primary attack uh the iso secondary attack will be an attack with offense up so it seems weird but it is relevant um, and that extra attack could mean the difference of like taking someone out or not so damage striker seems good the last character is Infector, and like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I just don't use him. You can tell, like, I I don't use this character. I know some people do, I know some people say like, oh, in like PvP, and like RTA, he's like really good, like, I, I feel like I'm not losing anything by not investing him. I don't even, I didn't even put the, enough in him to get him anything, because I just, I feel like... The one of each is actually worth more on another character. But if you look at his kit, between metabolism with some uh, ability to gain negative debuffs on himself, and his focus is surprisingly high at higher investment, clearly. His focus is surprisingly high for a character that's giving himself things like offense down and defense down. So when you are hitting with abilities like puncture to copy all negative effects those will still do a focus check it does stand to reason that this character is pretty much designed to be a skirmisher um just from the you know focus that you can get at skirmisher five and more importantly the ability to like place buffs and remove debuffs it's like exactly what this guy wants to do so if for some reason aim infector is a character you're liking it's it's got to be skirmisher almost but i really feel like you're not going to get as much out of it until you like go to iso five and I feel like if you're putting ISO 5 Skirmisher on Aim Infector, you've either spent so much money on ISO 8s that, you know, the top 40, 50 characters that could justify being Skirmisher are already done. And that's just controller characters, right? And then, uh, you know, you have so many left over that you're not even worried about future controller characters. That I, I feel like by the time you end up putting Skirmisher on him at any point where it's any relevance to you, you know, even you can get him to three. Skirmisher three is pretty okay. I just feel like there's not even worth investment. So, like, the truth is, just don't invest in him. You know, don't worry about it. If you have him and you have to use him until you get a good character, like, Graviton on the team, like, I get it. But I still feel like you could, might as well just use any other character. I feel like any combination of these six characters is a better combination than any combination of these seven characters like that's just this so hopefully that's helpful for iso eights um i know this is like 
relevant because a lot of people start with aim and really want to know where to go with so hopefully this was kind of like giving you a guide without telling you specifics if you want to know specifics just look this is pretty much what i would do what i have done what i will do in the future and in any other time i would do it so that's the simple answer but there was a little bit more anyway have a good night have a great day i've been tony scongeli and i'll catch you later